I'm not sure why there's a bunch of dead bees here, and I'm trying to figure out. So we're gonna go in here and see. Ooh, I got something awesome in the mail that I'm going to open. I'll see. I'm excited. I got my new bee jacket. This is really, really awesome. Seen a lot of beekeepers raving about this brand. It is a easy access jacket. I'll show you what that means here in just a moment. Very different in the way the zipper and the I believe this hood completely comes off, unlike uh, my old jacket. a vented vented jacket so it's not the thick layers it's a three layer vented so it should help with coolness it's different out just whack myself in the face These bigger zipper pulls because I'm thinking when I have my jacket on or my gloves on it's gonna be a whole lot easier to do my jacket so. boom nice big I got the one with the bigger keeps them off my face I wear a hat so I wear a hat to keep it from falling back anyways. But here's the awesome thing. When I need a drink, I can just open up and do my drink. If I need to, I can go really like this for easy access. So um, it's a whole lot better than having to try to go and, um, where's my words at? Uh, go step away and take the hood off like smoker makes my nose run I can quickly dab my nose instead of having to take the whole thing back off so it's weighted so that it hangs down awesome more so like when you're looking down in the hive um, it's you know, down and not up on my face keeps the bees away so um, I did get like I said I got the one with the extra space so it's not all right up in my face but I can feel the I love it. I can feel the breeze through this. I'm going to do some things here like there's the some thingy that I can tighten and tighten down the wrist. I have to play with it and get the right tightness. Nope, too tight. Um, I will be hopefully going to Hive Life in January, and Guardian Bee Apparel has a booth at it, so I want to try out their gloves and see if I can get a better pair of gloves that fit my hands. I struggle, y'all have seen over the last three years, I struggle with my fingertips, my gloves getting stuck in between the frames when I'm putting them back in. Um, 
so, uh, nice pockets. Perfect pockets to the queen excluder, or not queen excluder, but queen cage. Um, you can put tools in these. What I'm loving though is right now the wind is blowing and I feel it blowing through. Um, I'm excited to use this. Why don't we go get in the bees and actually use this in the bees? I am not sure what is going on here. Got me a little concerned. It's a good thing we are going in to the resurrection hive today. There's a few gals hanging out here. I noticed them last night. There's not as many. Um, I don't know what's going on. So, welcome to Smoky Mountain Lash Bees, where lashes led to bees. Come along with me, and let's go into Resurrection, um, Honey Flower, Honey Flower, and Buttercup today. All right, let's try to get into this Resurrection Colony and see, the Resurrection Hive and see what's going on underneath here. I'm peeking everybody here. There's bees up in here, but they're not really working it. Got a couple frames they're working. This one and this one they're definitely drawing out, but not not anything substantial. Didn't expect anything substantial. It is a first year, technically a first year, well, not technically, it is a first year colony. This is a 2023 queen swarm that I caught. Definitely still a big population down in here. Maybe it's just there's a lot of bees and that's why it looks like there's a pile inside as well as that on the bottom. I have a theory that those on the bottom are ones from where I moved some nukes and the, they had workers already out and these workers went underneath here trying to find a colony to go to and just didn't make it. That's my, that's my theory, that's my hope. Let's dive into this box here and see what we can see. Send it bearing down. And while this jacket won't keep me cool, cool, it's much better. I can feel the breeze on my skin. Much, much better than my old jacket. stores. Food stores, so that's a good thing. There's a big old pile down on the bottom. Get my phone out to try to get fix a bit. So there's eggs and brood. I see larva, I see calf brood. Eggs, 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 eggs. Don't see a queen. Pray she's not down there. Just crazy. We need a few more frames, by the way. I've got mic treatment on the way. So some of these, I may go ahead and start checking. Honey supers off that aren't producing anything that I can treat them if they need it. So that's just capped brood. Capped brood. I'm looking for my resurrection queen as I go through this.
all over the place. There's some dead in there. They must be, I wonder if they're transferring stores through the wire rather than coming all the way in the hive. Because they're sticking their heads down. I'm trying to see if they're balling a queen here. never seen them sticking their heads through the wire like that. There's a few in there dead. I wonder if they had an issue with someone trying to rob them and that's no, it's weird. I never I'm just spitballing ideas as to why there's a clump of dead bees under there like that. And why there's a few dead bees in this, but why there was all those bees clustered. Let's keep going through. Seems pretty healthy. No queen down there being balled up. It's not that. Okay, I'm done. I don't see anything specific to to do other than once my mite treatment gets here, checking and treating them if they need it. They may not need it. I try to only treat the hives that need it. and I'll get my pictures or videos clean. I hope that last thing I did was an actual video. Alright, let's close everything up. We're good. Don't know how well this is going to keep the camera in the shade, but I'm going to try to keep it from overheating as long as possible. They've got some honey stored away. We might be getting some honey off of them this year. This is a good brood frame. It's got all larva, except for the cap brood there. The little bit of pollen and that nice honey band. That's what you want to see. Same with this one. Empty queen cup.
rest of the time we're just gonna look for eggs and then be done. That's all we've just seen capped fruit in the larva. All right, battery's running out. Camera had to go in the freezer for a little bit. Oh, there's the queen right there. She's just not got a very big population. So, she's on this frame. She's working it. I don't know if you guys can see her. Come on, camera. There we go. Right. Really pretty red gal there. I don't know why the colony is so sparse. All their food stores seem to be up top. Let's get her back in. She is down here laying. She has capped brood galore. So let's leave her be and see how they do. She's done. Okay, so resurrection looked strong and healthy. I still don't understand the clump of dead bees underneath, but okay. Buttercup, mmm, buttercup was a lot of empty cells. Had a lot of capped brood that was brood that seen and the frame she was on had young larvae and eggs. But she she's on my keep an eye on list. Um, honey looked fantastic. Honey flower looked fantastic. The honey super is actually getting some weight to it. So let me look at my notes. Uh, we saw resurrection queen eggs larvae and cap brood looked good. Uh, go baby, leave the camera alone. Honey flower, we did not see the queen. Camera got over hot and I just finished out and had to go put the camera in the freezer. Um, buttercup, like I said, low on food. Uh, the frame she was on was only one side had young brood on it. There wasn't anything on the other side. Uh, may just be a mediocre queen. We'll see, it could also be this ridiculous because the top has some weight to it could just be this ridiculous weather um what I mean look at look at my yard it's crunchy and turning brown so yeah uh, we need some rain it does look like somebody over that way I don't know if you guys can see the clouds for the Tuesday or not is getting rain but as of right now we aren't so come this way rain we need you um, it's so hot. That's actually somewhat a good sign to see that that colony has a population enough to be sticking out like that. Um, the other side's not quite as strong. But, uh, overall everything looks good in the yard. Uh, my biggest problem, I believe, right now is the lack of flow. Um, gotta finish out these honey supers. We've got the rest of this month to go, and then I will be getting everything off um, permanently for the first part of July. We'll see how everybody does. All right. Till next time, God bless. Remember to hit that thumbs up, please. Comment, please. And definitely, most importantly, hit subscribe. Follow along on my V journey with me. Till I see you again. Uh, Look at the bees.